how willing are communities going to be for uh, to accept interim storage, which is a uh, on an interim basis if there is no likelihood of a permanent repository and they become a de facto permanent repository. Is that going to be, is that going to make it more difficult to have communities uh, acceptable uh, or willing to accept uh, waste from Yucca Mountain <coughs> or waste from the sites that should be going to Yucca Mountain? Um, Mr. Simpson, thank you. Um, we work closely through the my tenure at uh, the department on, on this issue. Um, I remind uh, the members, I remind the public that this is the law. And I held up my hand and um, <clears throat> committed to uh, upholding the laws of this country when I took this this role. So understanding that this is the, the, the law and, and our budget uh, asks for uh, those line items that will in fact <clears throat> allow us to maintain uh, the duties that were required by Congress to conduct the licensing of, of the uh, uh, of, of the site, for instance, Yucca, um, and uh, I think that's an important and, and also for uh, the the uh, the regulatory uh, commission, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, their uh, funding of, of their continuing. That's what this budget request is for. Um, there's also a uh, a request in there for interim storage. So, because if we don't do this uh, in, in some form or fashion, and we've got 38 uh, permanent repositories in America, and it's in every one of your states. I don't know if it's in every one of your districts or not, but it's, uh, it, it's certainly uh, in, in every one of your um, I, I made a little map here, Madam Chair. That's the 39 states where <clears throat> high-level waste is now um, <laughs> deposited. And th I think that's the question for us as the citizens, you as our uh, elected officials, is, is this going to be, is this going to be our solution? I, I certainly hope that's not the case. Uh, you know, we're going to be open to any of the uh, the ideas, uh, the, the scientists that, that we have at our, uh, at our at the agency in our labs. Uh, we'll work with uh, Congress any way that we can to find the solutions here. Uh, you know, we've been working with WHIP out in New Mexico uh, to come up with some uh, additional volumes and the, and the state agreed to that this last year so that we can take more uh, into that site. Uh, there's a site in West Texas in Andrews County uh, that it's uh, it's also a, uh, a legitimate uh, site and obviously Yucca continues to Let make. me ask you on that. Do, uh, even this site in Texas, do you think that they would be willing to accept permanent storage? Um, you know, I'm going to leave that up to the, uh, to the current uh, governor to, to answer for you directly, I can tell you what the previous governor said, uh, and he was very supportive of, of it being a permanent site, worked that way. We had a low-level nuclear commission uh, that, that worked towards that uh, while, while I was the governor. Uh, and again, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm not going to speak for the, for the current governor or the current legislature, but for uh, 14 years prior to uh, to those individuals coming on the scene, uh, there was a clear effort to uh, make an and the people of Andrews, uh, the, the citizens of that county, are very, very supportive of that. So, um, you know, I, my point is we've got to find a solution to this. Uh, Thirty-nine states as final repositories is not a uh, is, is not an appropriate solution to this. Thank you.